Okay, so your conditioning session. Now, I want to do three exercises. So I want to do squats, I want to do press-ups, and I want to do reverse lunges. Now, I'm going to give you 10 minutes for the first one. So what I want you to do is I want you to do one squat, one press-up, and one reverse lunge on each leg, just two in top. Then I want you to do two squats, two press-ups, two reverse lunges on each leg, so four in total. And I want you to work your way up. So three squats, three press-ups, three reverse lunges on each leg. Okay? Uh, I'm going to give you ten minutes. Uh, you'll be kind of racing me. So see how many rounds you get, see what you get up to. So say for instance you get up to twelve squats, twelve press-ups, and twenty-four reverse lunges, so twelve each side on each leg. Hit your ten minutes. Uh, we've got a minute rep, a minute active rest, I'm going to get you holding the plank just because. And then we're going to work in reverse. So you have to try and get all the way back down to one in 10 minutes. So it's two lots of 10 minutes work, okay? So say you finish at, I know you guys need a lot of explaining <laughs> from past experiences. Um, so say you get to 12 squats, 12 press ups, and 24 reverse lunges by the end of the 10 minutes. I want you to start at 12, 12, 12, one more three, and work your way backwards, all right? It's a lot of counting. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I've got a, I've got a 15 kilo weighted vest that I can actually wear instead of holding a weight. So, sorry. Uh, if you have a weight to hold, fantastic. A plate, kettlebell, superb. Try and weight your squats and your reverse lunges. Uh, if you need to, uh, not a problem. Put your hands up on the sofa or a, or a bench or a table to do your press ups. Okay, so we'll warm up, uh, we'll go through our movements, and then I'll explain it one more time, and then we'll get cracking, okay? Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be quite a test. So I'll time for 10 minutes, you do as much or as little as you want to over that time period. Now, uh, start your warm ups, so drop it down, feet and knees, just gently shift your knees side to side, just get a bit of movement to that lower back before you start anything, okay? So nice and easy, and then just get some movement, start rolling, try and touch your toes to your hands, so get that lower back nice and warmed up, so keep going, get a few more reps out of it, and again, okay, so don't be dictated by me in terms of your reps, so you get as many reps as you need to, into your child's pose, tilt your tailbone, stretch out the front, and get a few reps out of it. So tailbone, good stretch. Try and drop the chest down nice and low to the ground. Okay, get into your adductors as well. So one leg out, tailbone, sit back into it. And again, really slip back so I go for about five reps. Again, tailbone. Couple more reps. Okay, I'm on to your other side now. I won't be counting throughout because obviously you'd be going at your own pace. Okay, not that I can count anyway. But I will keep a record of my reps. I will continue to cue you through, making sure your form is correct, your hitting depth, and your reverse lunges are nice and balanced. Into your press up. Right hand up. So just swap sides, guys. Get a bit of rotation through as well. Try and sink the hips in. Okay, so it's three exercises squat, press up, reverse lunges. You start at one on each, and you work your way up over a 10 minute period. Alright? So down you go into your squat. So you increase by one every single round. You take as much rest as you want to in between each round. The idea is you get through as many rounds as you can. And I'd like you to put a post up as well and let me know how many rounds you get. All right, one more time, then. down you go. Okay, if you're feeling particularly tight in the shoulders, you can always drop down into that scorpion pose, so if right you 90 degrees to your body, over you go, squeeze the chest up, and swap sides, try and dab your toes to the ground. And again, and 
Again. Right, so one more time then, to reiterate. So my first round will look like this. One squat, one press up, and a reverse lunge on each leg. All right, then you go to two. So two squats, two press ups, two reverse lunges on each leg. And make your way up. See how many rounds you can get in 10 minutes. You have a 60 second plank as an active rest. <laughs> then I start the clock again in 10 minutes and we work in reverse. And you're going to try and get all the way back down to one. All right? Um, like I said, I got a 15 kilo weight vest that I can slim on now. Go all crossfit on you guys. And yeah, let's get going. All right? This is going to be good. Okay, weight vest. 15 kilos worth of thing. Right. Uh, we have 21 minutes worth of work to do. 10 minutes of your first one, a minute rest, plank, then another further 10 minutes to finish off, all right? So I want you to go as quickly as you can, but don't sacrifice form or reps. Um, now hit depth to the squats and work a full range of movement for your reverse lunges, all right? Um, I will cue you to go along. Don't expect much from me in that second round of 10, Mike, because that's going to be slightly painful. So it is 10 minutes worth of work. I will time you in. You start with your squats, into your press ups, into your reverse lunges, all right? Right, here we go. Three, two, one. Off you go. So, one, one, and quality rep, one on each side. Now we're into two. So, good quality reps. Again, quality, quality reps, smooth. So, I'm into four reverse lunges, two on each leg. Right, I'm into three sets. Here we go. Right, threes. Let's get out already. So six reverse lunges. Okay, here we go. Squatting knees wide, alright? So I'm into four. <laughs> Someone say that was cheating. <laughs> Okay, smooth and steady. I got two more for eight. A minute's gone. Right, here we go. Five squats for me. You may need to put markers on the floor. Five press ups for me. And reverse lunges, I go to the ten. Keep going. All right, I'm into six squats. Quality reps again, guys. Knees are wide. Heavy on the legs. Okay, six press ups. I'm slowing down already. <laughs>
Eight, 16 reverse lunges we bring. Double up for those reverse lunges on each leg. I'm halfway. It's my turn. Keep moving, keep your rhythm. It's my 16. Keep counting, shake them off in between. Whew. Go. Keep that rhythm. Right, I'm on nine squats. Regressing this weighted vest. Nine press ups. Eighteen reverse lunges for me. Sorry, I can't talk once I do that. <laughs> Wait! Double field reverse lunges. You're six and a half minutes in. Keep that rhythm going. Comfortable step back. Breathe. You are seven minutes in. Not slow down. I know we're chasing you. Right, come on, guys. Right, push for three more minutes. Stay upright. I'm at 12. Keep moving. 
Right, girls on your list. Oh, take it off. Minute and a half third grade. We gotta try and get to one. Don't fall over. Knees. Double it up here, reverse lunges. You are three minutes in. I'm in the tens. Break your one move. Keep moving. Right, it's four minutes done. How many single digits? Right, come on, push. Legs should be on fire. Six ten. Six minutes is done.
Keep going, six and a half, minutes to it. Ah, I've got six left. Ah, come on, move. Go on, let's go. Control your heart rate. Seven done. Arm and fight. Push. Eight minutes down. I'm into threes. I'm into twos. Come on, push. A minute and a half.
Gently shift your weight forward and back. Sink the hips into the stretch. Keep the chest up. Okay, tuck it under when you're ready. Square the hips up. Chest and shoulders back. We sit down into this one. Well done. It was tough. 21 minutes of work that was hard. If you can, get the quad stretched out. Bend the back knee and pull the heel in. Or if you can't put that, put your foot in the back of your old sofa, like you would with a bench. Okay, so good swap sides. Plank left, chest and shoulders back, legs down as much as you can. Well done, that was good. Enjoyed that. So we'll have to step it up for Saturdays now. Bend the back leg if you can, put the heel in, chest up, you may cramp on the hamstring, maybe you don't do that one, <laughs> if you cramp it. Again, you can hang that back foot off the bench if you want to. Try and get into those hamstrings then, so our fingers under your toes, big push, chest up, tail onto the ceiling. Okay, back it up. And again, big push, chest up, toe onto the ceiling. Okay, ease the pressure off. Get the shift your weight from side to side. Okay, nice and easy then. Slowly standing up, one vertebra at a time. Hands in the small of your backs. Squeeze open, trying to press the shoulders down. Breathe into it, you should feel this across your shoulders and your chest, certainly after those press ups. Okay, swap hands, open up one more time. Shoulders down, elbows together. If you want to, guys, you can place your forearm in the, side, in the inside of the door frame and stretch out to the shoulders. I'm actually going to do this on the floor. So, on your chest, 90 degrees, open up, lift the chest. Feel a really deep pull through your shoulders and your pecs. You may even feel it through your bicep. Okay, and onto the other side. Finish up there to 90 degrees. Over you go. And relax a lot. I'm sweaty, sweaty mess. Uh, that was fantastic. Well done. Right. Got another fair few workouts coming your way, okay? Um, so you gauge your days off. I'm not going to tell you when to take a day off or when to go for you know, a bike ride or whatever it is. So I'm just going to keep pushing these out and you, you fit them in as and when you can over the two weeks. Okay, guys? All right, fantastic. Hold on. Hold on.